Okay, guys, uh, let's start with the rapid revision of hello everybody, pay attention. Uh, let's start the rapid revision of marginal costing. First of all, a few basic things. Uh, when I say costing, costing means what below calculation of cost. Now, calculation of which cost here, if I just talk about marginal boleto variable extra cost to produce one extra units, right? So you are separating your you are separating your variable cost, right? So if you separate your variable cost. Like you have a total cost, so if variable cost is separated, then what remains is your what? Fixed cost. So generally you, you do sales minus cost. Generally the statement is like sales minus cost, you get profit. But here it is sales minus variable cost, you get something. Then minus fixed cost, you get something that is profit. Okay. Now sales minus variable cost, what is this known as? Simpler contribution. This 10 is your selling price. What about you sell for 10 rupees and yeah, your manufacturing cost is that. So when you sell one vada pav, that fellow is giving you kitna rupees 10 in cash and you are giving him vada pav in kind on which you have invested 8 rupees like so it is in kind. So one vada pav is contributing kitna rupiah 2 rupees. That is why this thing is known as what? Contribution. Okay. Now then there is one thing. Uh, there are three types of sales we say. One is break even sale that is break even point. Then there is a margin of safety and addition of these becomes what your total sales. Okay. Now what is this? Let me create an example. Maybe you will give me the answer easily. Uh, let us say that uh, yeah, your contribution is 2 rupees for every unit per unit. Ka. Now let's say that my uh, fixed cost is 200 rupees. How many units I will have to sell to break even? 100 units because every one of our sold gives you kitna rupees? 2 rupees, right? So if you sell, it, it 2 rupees comes in your bank account. And once amount comes in your bank account, what you're gonna pay is your fixed cost. Right. So here, if you sell 100 vada pavs, you will get into 2 karakit 200 rupees. I am saying contribution 200 you will get. And once you get 200 ka contribution, your uh, profit will be 0. Achha. Or I can say like this. It is like this. Sales quantity into contribution per unit. Sales quantity into contribution per unit, you are going to get this. Hello. So I can say that my contribution is kitna 2. If you go reverse, how many units you will have to sell? 100. Go ye samjha. If I say 100 units, achha. same format, let's keep. Uh, if I say that I want to earn 500 rupees ka profit, can you tell me how many units I will have to sell in totality to get 500? Achha, to get 500, you have to first make arrangement for what? Fixed cost, which is 200. So you should get bank account, make it 700. You will pay your fixed cost. Then 500 is there with you, which is your profit. Now, every unit gives you kitna rupya? Two, right so that is uh, 700 divided by 2 kitna Ajay, sir, so can you just generate a formula i said yes if you want to calculate the bp can i say these two will be equal only hamesha fixed cost of profit but profit will be zero because it is break even point so can i say it is a fixed cost which is 200 and that is being divided by what two that is contribution per unit so you got answer in units hello why, why you answer in, you want that answer in totality? It is BP ka answer. Afa, achha, na, it, let us say, if you want answer in total sales ka, total sales ka. So what you did, you added these two, right? Fixed cost plus profit. Then you said, I need kitna rupee in my bank account? 700. So that is a fixed cost plus profit. And then you divided that by what? Contribution. Every unit gives you kitna rupee karke. Now, if I just tell you this, if I want to earn 500 ka profit, what is my margin of safety? First of all, I know my margin of safety directly also. That uh, <clears throat> it is sales over and above break even point. 100 pe IHU break even point. Break even is like it is that point at which no profit, no loss. Is ke niche gaya to your loss making, uske upar your profit making. Achha, after break even point, there is no need to pay what? Fixed cost. Because it is already paid. When you achieved the break even point, you paid that entire fixed cost. Now, when you sell extra units, Fixed cost won't increase, right? So it is already paid. Okay. Achha, why it is known as break even point? Because it breaks companies into two parts. Below this wali loss making, above that wala profit making. Yeah. So now, yeah. <coughs> what was break even point over here? Uh, sorry, margin of safety over here, 250, right? Total sales 350. So above break even point, how many units you sold? 250. Achha, let me give you one example. I hope you will be able to answer me. If I sell 100 units, do you understand no profit, no loss? 
अच्छा इफ आई सेल हंड्रेड प्लस वन एक्स्ट्रा यूनिट वॉट इज माई प्रॉफिट टू यू अंडरस्टैंड वाई बिकॉज फिक्स कॉस्ट तो ऑलरेडी पेड हंड्रेड पे वेन यू सेल वन एक्स्ट्रा यूनिट वॉट टू रुपीज कम्स इन योर पॉकेट एज अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज योर प्रॉफिट और इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट वन जीरो वन इंटू टू वॉट यू विल गेट इज वन जीरो टू पे द फिक्स कॉस्ट और क्या नहीं से वन इंटू टू सी दू रुपीज इज माई प्रॉफिट नो नीड टू पे फिक्स कॉस्ट and this one is known as margin of safety break even pe you sold one unit extra or other way around i could have done like this also 250 into 2 i got 500 at margin of safety no need to pay this because when 100 units i sold i already paid the fixed cost so now if i tell you to get this acha 500 ke pe upar what is your margin of safety so what will you do this plus this fixed cost will be nil because it is already paid at break even point hello thoda thoda jata hai so what is going to be your formula it is profit only Actually, the formula is this only: fixed cost plus profit. You get contribution divided by contribution per unit. Here also, fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution. But at break-even point, what is nil? Profit. So formula becomes fixed cost divided by contribution. At margin of safety, what is nil? Because it is already paid. So formula becomes profit divided by contribution per unit. क्या पता याद आता है क्या? So the formula will be profit divided by contribution per unit. थोड़ा speed में है, but I hope you understand that. Yeah. Now what is PV ratio? So I just want to have that ratio instead of having two rupees. I want that ratio. If I sell hundred, ten rupees covered up, I get two rupees. It is as good as whatever is my sales, I get twenty percent. Whatever is my sales. So if I say my sales is one lakh rupees, can you tell me your uh, contribution? Twenty thousand, Baba. क्या इतना सोच रहे हो? खाना ज़्यादा हो गया? अरे easy नहीं था ये. Why, what I am saying is your sales is one lakh rupees. What will be your contribution? So twenty percent is your PV ratio, right? Okay, let me tell you one thing. Let's see whether you can answer, sir. If twenty percent is your PV ratio, your variable cost ratio will be eighty percent. चलो ये पता है तो hundred में से eighty percent is your variable cost, twenty percent is your contribution. This twenty percent comes in your bank account. Hello. तो पीवी रेशियो इंडिकेट्स जितना भी सेल्स रहेगा व्हाट कम्स इन योर बैंक अकाउंट तो 20 परसेंट कम्स इन योर बैंक अकाउंट नाउ इजी माय सेल्स वैल्यू इज 10 लाख रुपीस व्हाट इज माय पीवी रेशियो सॉरी व्हाट इज माय कंट्रीब्यूशन 2 लाख बिकॉज़ पीवी रेशियो इज कितना 20 परसेंट पक्का अच्छा अदर वे अराउंड इफ आई नीड 2 लाख रुपीस इन माय बैंक अकाउंट इफ आई नीड 2 लाख रुपीस इन माय बैंक अकाउंट एज अ कंट्रीब्यूशन हाउ मच का सेल कितने का सेल 10 लाख रिवर्स अरे हेलो तो सेम वे नाउ सपोज आई नीड आंसर वेर इन वैल्यू सो कैन आई से सेम वे अभी आई कैन आई मेक दिस स्टेटमेंट सेल्स इन टू पीवी रेशो आई विल गेट वॉट माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट आई गेट प्रॉफिट नाउ आई नो माई पीवी रेशो इज कितना ट्वेंटी परसेंट वॉट इज यूर ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट कैन आई से वे आर प्रॉफिट इज नैन तो इफ यूर फिक्स कॉस्ट इज कितना एक सेकेंड कितना था इट वॉज टू हंड्रेड इफ यूर फिक्स कॉस्ट इज टू हंड्रेड यूनिट टू हंड्रेड रुपीज इन यूर बैंक अकाउंट So if you want 200 in your bank account, कितने का सेल भी हाउ टू डू 20 परसेंट कम्स इन योर अकाउंट तो 100 मतलब कितना तो आई कैन सी दैट थाउजेंड का सेल्स इफ यू डू तो यू गेट यूर आंसर हेलो तो थाउजेंड हाउ डिड यू गेट दिस तो अगेन द फॉर्मुलाइज फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट इफ आई गो रिवर्स तो आई गेट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड देन डिवाइड बाई वॉट पी वी रेशो बट अगेन इफ आई आस्क माई सेल्फ एट बी पी वॉट इज नील यू डोंट एन प्रॉफिट राइट सो ये तो सेम ही रहेगा राइट right? Your formula shall shall be what fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Hello. So your formula over here will be fixed cost divided by PV ratio. अच्छा चलो if I ask you like this, sir, I want to make five hundred rupees का profit कितने रुपये का? What should be my sales value? Can I say two hundred is your fixed cost? So how much you want in your bank account? Seven hundred, right? Once you get seven hundred, you gonna pay your fixed cost of two hundred. Please pay attention. Then five hundred profit you will get, right? And you know one ratio that twenty percent comes in your bank account. You need seven hundred rupees. कितने रुपए का sale you have to do? Three thousand five hundred का sale you have to do. What you did is total sales का value निकालना है तो fixed cost plus profit and divide by what you did is PV ratio. That is you added these two fixed cost plus profit and divide by PV ratio. अच्छा margin of safety. Let us say what is your margin of safety? Two thousand five hundred. और लेट से मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी अगर इफ यू वांट टू फाइव हंड्रेड का प्रॉफिट व्हाट इज योर मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी एट मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी डू यू पे फिक्स कॉस्ट इट इज ऑलरेडी पेड तो दैट विल बिकम दिस तो फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑल्सो विल डू 
What is fine? It actually the formula is fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio. It is the same everywhere. You will get contribution, then you divide by PV ratio. But what is nil? Fixed cost. At margin of safety, no need to pay fixed cost because it is already paid at break even point. Yeah. So now can I say that your formula will become what? Profit divided by what? PV ratio. All said and done. All said and done. What you need to remember is this. If numerator, if it is said that, if it is said that numerator mein, BP they are asking for, MOS they are asking for, total sales they are asking for. They will ask either answer in units or they will ask either answer in rupees. That is value we can say. If BP is asking the question, what will come in the numerator? Fix off. If MO is asked, what will come? Profit. If a total sales is asked, fix cost plus profit. Pakka. Acha, divide by. Agar. Contribution per unit and rupees to divided by PV ratio. Your job is done. Like now if I tell you calculate BEP in units. So your formula will be fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. If I tell you calculate MOS in rupees. So formula will be profit divided by PV ratio. Ye ek dam dimag mein fit hona chahiye. Master formula. Now <coughs> clear hai? I try to give you the logic also thoda sa. Now sir how do you get this PV ratio? First of all. Uh, how do you get this PV ratio? So there are kuch five methods. Achha, first of all, how do you get this contribution, sir? Selling price minus variable cost. You get the contribution. Hello? Done. Achha. Actually, here the formula is plus profit and plus fixed cost. But because profit is nil at BEP and because fixed cost is nil, so that formula here becomes hota wo. clear. Hai na? Then you get contribution, then you go reverse to divide by PV ratio. Yahan ta clear hai? Yes. Now, how do you get this a PV ratio? The first formula is contribution upon sales into 100. Second formula is change in profit upon change in sales into 100. Achha. Generally, this date this will be used when two years or two periods ka data will be given. Hello. Then they will give you only sales ka value, two sales ka value, two profit ka value. So change in profit upon change in sales into 100. Yeah, the logic was discussed. Maybe few were not there while discussing the logic, but. Formula at least the change in profit upon change in sales in 200. Achha, I will do one thing. Question mein kabhi bhi jab ye diya raha na, they will give you only profit and sales ka data. Achha, you know only sales ka data and you know only uh, profit ka data. Tell me, but by applying this formula, what did you get? PV ratio. So once you do sales into PV ratio, what this, see, this was given and this was given in the question. But by saying this change in profit upon change in sales, what did you get? PV ratio, in sales into PV ratio, what you will get? Contribution. Profit is already given in the question. So what will be your balancing figure? Fixed cost you can easily get. Samajta hai ye? Achha, sometimes they will give you like this, that your variable cost is 80%. So 10 may say 8 is variable cost. So 10 may say, 100 may say 80 is variable cost. So 100 ke sales value may say 20 will be contribution. So if this is 80%, your PV ratio will be kitra? 20% I hope that is clear yeah again there is one more formula sir agar if I talk about BP to B ka formula kya hai BP ka fixed cost divided by PV ratio so PV ratio can be fixed cost upon BP and to convert that into percentages I can say into 100 so you will get percentage is my value clear with this <clears throat> there will be what MS is equal to profit upon PV ratio so it is gonna be PV ratio is equal to <clears throat> uh, profit upon MOS into 100. Hello? That will be done. Clear with this? <clears throat> now, after that, uh, after that I can just say this. Sir, how to get this? How to get fixed cost? So as in when they ask you fixed cost ka data na. <clears throat> Okay, so as in when they ask you fixed cost, so you can get like this. Achha, yeah, one you can do, one thing you can do is again, which formula you can use? BP ka. Ki BP is equal to fixed cost divided by either PV ratio or divided by contribution per unit. So again, as a balancing figure, that is what you can say is BP into PV ratio. So two formulas can be there if you want to get this. Hello, just to give you the idea how you can get the uh, fixed cost. Karke. Sometimes if it is not given. So, pehla hai, BP is equal to uh, fixed cost divided by what? Contribution per unit. Agar data is mein, units mein hai. Right? So, what formula it can become karke contribution? Uh, sorry, we'll go there. So, can I say BP units into what will become? 
कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट या तो बी पी इन रुपीज इन टू वट विल यू डू पी वी रेंज क्लियर विद दिस Now, if I just talk about profit again, the same thing can be done. Otherwise, as and when they ask you for a profit, I just do one thing. I just make one income statement. Then I can get the profit answer when they ask you. Okay, how to get the income statement? So, if I just talk about your income statement, please understand how it can be made. So, there are various ways. Whatever is comfortable to you. Either it can be sales minus variable cost. You gonna get contribution. माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट यू कैन गेट प्रॉफिट हेलो और इट इज कैन बी सेल्स इनटू सी द कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट इफ यू हैव तो सी द टोटल कंट्रीब्यूशन यू विल गेट माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट यू विल गेट प्रॉफिट या तो व्हाट यू कैन डू इज सेल्स इनटू पीवी रेशियो यू विल गेट कंट्रीब्यूशन माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट देन यू विल गेट प्रॉफिट सो यू कैन मेक इनकम स्टेटमेंट लाइक दिस आई होप द थिंग्स आर बीइंग क्वाइट क्लियर Okay, <clears throat> so if I can share you this video call, so just do remind me uh, after the lecture. Yeah, we you can write down. I'm not saying no, but just in case you need PDF, that will be, do remind me after the lecture. Otherwise, I will forget. It is for sure. Okay, so now, <clears throat> so this is done, right? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so let's have a look. यहां तक हो गया Okay, <clears throat> okay, so here we go. After doing this, uh, how to get total sales? So we have this fixed one profit. कैसे निकालने का we did this, right? Now, sir, there is one more equation. What is that equation? Please explain. So I can just explain this thing. Whatever formula you have written, sometimes they will give you ratio. Ratio बोले तो total sales is equal to BP plus MOS. So sometimes they will give you like this that your BP uh, MOS is forty percent. We need to understand out of hundred, if MOS is forty percent, बोले तो BP will be sixty percent. This data is in percentages. Then they will give you some information. They will either give you information of fixed cost or either give you information of profit. If information of fixed cost is given, what you can calculate BEP. Once you can get BEP, you can cross multiply and you can get everything. Or either they will give you information of profit. So you can uh, get the MOS and you can cross multiply and you can get the other data. समझ में आता है ये चीज़? Okay, so this was all about your basic questions which were there. Now few points which you need to remember. What are points you need to remember after this? I can just say that if question says. That selling price has increased by ten percent. Please increase only selling price. It means no change in variable cost per unit. Hello. If question says selling price has increased, increase only selling price. Otherwise, we have a habit. Sir, price but I will increase the cost. Cost will also cost will cost will also increase or even other way round. If it is mentioned in the question, variable cost will increase by ten percent. Then please increase only variable cost. Do not increase selling price. They will specify if it is. You don't assume anything at your end. Clear with this? Okay. <clears throat> and one basic thing which we all know: if question says variable cost will increase by ten percent, effect will be given in per unit column. But if it is said fixed cost will increase by ten percent, effect will be given in which column? Total per unit column. Effect will be given in this columns. करके. एकदम अच्छे से clear है ये चीज. Yes. Sir. Now, so these were these are your basic questions which we can see that. Okay. After this, let us say whatever basic questions we did. अच्छा. Just one point I want to uh, give a note of. If it is men mentioned in the question, in the first year you sold ten thousand units, and in the second year also you sold how many units? Ten thousand. Or question will tell you one thing. Whatever units we have sold in the first year, we have sold same units in second year also. Let us say this information is not given, but it is said that same units are sold, and it is written that selling price is ten, where variable cost is eight. It is written selling price will increase by ten percent. So you will increase it. I don't know the quantity and all. Huh? Okay. Now, if nothing is mentioned about variable cost, so variable cost will eighty remain. And your quantity will be both years, both years the same. So it will do same. That quantity will remain the previous year. So can I say if nothing is mentioned about variable cost, it will per unit it will remain constant. And if it is said that 
and if it is said that your quantity uh, aapka your quantity is also same to your total variable cost will remain same aisa yaad aata hai aapko your total variable cost will remain same if two factors are same what per unit weight is same and quantity is also same so your variable cost will remain same okay acha chalo isse ek cheez aur yaad aa gaya by discussing this so when does my pv ratio changes if i just talk about this pv ratio when will it change it will change only in two cases if there is a change in selling price or if there is a change in variable cost per unit change in fixed cost does it affect your pv ratio no change in quantity also does not affect your pv ratio because as sales increases your variable cost also increases in the same proportion kuch dimag mein baithta hai yeah acha one more thing pv ratio can remain constant in this case if sales price increases by 10% like like this is 100 selling price this is variable cost is 80 and this is 20 hello this has increased by 10% and this has also increased by 10% so ye 110 ho jayega ये 88 हो जाएगा जरा डू इट 22 तो पीवी रेशियो विल रिमेन सेम इट मींस आई कैन से दैट पीवी रेशियो कैन रिमेन सेम इफ चेंज इन सेलिंग प्राइस जितना होगा इन परसेंटेजेस इज इक्विवेलेंट टू चेंज इन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑल्सो इन परसेंटेजेस इफ परसेंटेजेस आर सेम सो इन द क्वेश्चन इफ इट इज सेड योर सेलिंग प्राइस इज इंक्रीज बाय 10% ओके एंड वी वांट टू कीप द सेम पीवी रेशियो your selling price has increased by 10% which was 100 and you want to keep the same pv ratio so you have to increase your variable cost also by kitna 10% then that ratio will remain same yeah so that's the so that was all basic which we have discussed with reference to this acha now acha one more thing just i want to discuss uh, i hope you you gonna get that uh, let us say that uh, my total sales is 100 my bp is 80 and my mos is 20 ye mos hai theek hai Now if I say my sales has increased by 10 percent, so my sales is how much? 110. You don't cross multiply. Hello, your fixed cost will remain 80 only. Sorry, your BP will remain 80 because BP is what fixed cost divided by PV ratio. So quantity has increased. Now no change in fixed cost and PV ratio. So whatever extra units you sold, your margin of safety will increase. Just understand one thing: if you sell more units, what will increase? Margin of safety. Safety margin. It is like fifty percent is passing. If you get sixty percent, the margin of safety is ten. If you get eighty percent, the margin of safety is thirty. So as you get more percent, your safety margin increases. Many people feel as if volume बढ़ा तो ratio same रहेगा नहीं ratio will change then hundred eighty twenty नहीं रहेगा ये तो eighty ही रहेगा then it will become thirty one one zero minus then you will calculate new ratio. clear hai now so this was all basic now let us go to the next part of the question this was all basic yeah maybe uh, uh i will just change the sequence uh, as uh, with reference to importance level so first i will go with the sales mix wala part if i just go with the sales mix wala part uh, just let's take that question itself फटाफट फटाफट i can just give you the idea about that let's take that question so guys we have a company where we sell two products let us say j and k uh, let, let me just draft a question directly sales mix Now I am going for a sales mix wala part. So listen to this carefully. There is one product A and there is one product B. I sell that product in one box that is known as either box or either known as set. One set or one box, whatever you say. I sell. Let us say that uh, three units of this, two units of this. So how many units I sell? Five. Let us say here I get ten rupees and here I get twenty rupees. So कितना हो जाएगा ये thirty? Every unit का था ये. So twenty into two कितना हो जाएगा? So you get कितना रुपया seventy. So when you say that one box, it is like uh, there are various combos, uh, celebration का package or anything. We can say gelat and उसका blades and all. तो यहाँ पे A and B का सम रेशो इस दर. You get seventy rupees from every unit or every box, box or every set. I can say. So this is step number one, which is known as what contribution per set. Once you calculate contribution per set, now you need BP in sets. Let us say that if I tell you you are Fixed cost is seven hundred. So to re once you sell one box, what this is your contribution, ha? Huh? Contribution बोले तो sales minus variable cost, sales minus variable cost करके that you get ah uh, ten and twenty. Now one box gives you seventy rupees in your bank account. Ah uh, that is your contribution per set. So selling price minus contribution per set. So seven hundred minus seventy. So can I say how many boxes you will have to sell? Either you will say ten boxes or ten. Sets. So you got B P in sets. Once you sell ten boxes, every box will give you seventy rupees. So seven into ten, you will get seven hundred, right? Now if I ask you, sir, what is what is your B P in units? 
तो प्लीज डू नॉट डिवाइड दिस टेन इंटू थ्री इंस टू टू का रेशियो हेलो वन बॉक्स एज थ्री यूनिट ऑफ ए एंड वन बॉक्स एज इफ यू सेल वन बॉक्स ना तो उसमें थ्री यूनिट ऑफ ए एंड टू यूनिट ऑफ बी आर देर तो इफ यू सेल टेन बॉक्स है तो उसमें क्या रहेगा बताओ टेन इंटू थ्री टेन इंटू टू यू आर सेलिंग इन टोटालिटी कितना ये थर्टी एंड फिफ्टी सॉरी ट्वेंटी सो यू आर सेलिंग थर्टी एंड ट्वेंटी सो हियर वी गो दैट इज थर्टी ट्वेंटी एंड दैट बिकम्स कितना फिफ्टी इज इट क्लियर other otherwise round other way round you can do that also one box has how many units 5 so 10 boxes into 5 how many units 50 and then you can divide in the ratio 3 to 5 3 to 2 sorry agar karna hai to total 50 units mein se ye kitna ye kitna i hope that thought process is clear so it is all, all about this chalo let me just add something to this question i will come to know whether you are getting this or not because that small reference is there in your budgetary control ka chapter there is one sales mix wala part If I tell you your fixed cost is seven hundred, and let us say that, uh, let's say that uh, after fixed cost there is a uh, profit also you want to earn after doing this. So let's say that you want to earn seven hundred. Yeah, you want to earn one forty of profit. So let me just explain this question again. Seven uh, hundred is your fixed cost, and one forty of profit you want to earn. How many boxes you will have to sell? Are you question? Samjha. One box gives you kitna rupee? Seventy. 12 do you get that easily yeah it is like the fixed cost plus and uh, now you will use total sales ka formula fixed cost plus profit divided by but this time contribution kya hai ye per set so this total sales will also be in set it is like sir i want to earn 140 before that i have to make arrangement to so total 840 should be in my bank account because once i get 840 ka contribution i will pay 700 ka my fixed cost and what remains with me is 800 minus or uh, 840 minus 700 that is 140 ka profit with me i have to on 840 and sir every box sold gives 70 rupees in my bank account so 840 divided by 70 i will have to sell how many sets 12 and in this case i can just say like this ki uh, into a uh, 3 and into 2 samajh mein aata hai ye 12 sets into 3 every set will have three units so 12 into 3 and 12 into 2 you gonna get units my answer clear with this can i go with the next part we are done with two parts one is basic chances are there question will come from there majority of the chances then the second part we did is sales mix also three four questions were there on that guys we did uh, my, my, all are from the module 19 was developed by me conceptual question then 20 22 and yeah something we did now let's go with the one more concept which is opportunity cost so after sales mix let me go to this one concept which is opportunity cost okay let us discuss as to what is there in the opportunity cost let me give you an idea let us say some demand will be given in the question and you will be having a capacity that will be given in the question there is a product a b and c i will just take one or two examples 1000 hai 900 hai tell me how many quantities you can produce capacity it is even though demand is there but i don't have capacity sir i will take 900 let us say it is 1000 and it is 1900 this time so Even though I have a capacity, but demand is not there, so what will you do with production? You have to sell, right? You produce to sell, not to accumulate with yourself. Carrying cost increases, so you cannot take it now. Thousand. Okay, can I say one thing? You have to select which quantity, whichever is lower. Once you get this quantity, you have to multiply with contribution per unit. Let us see your contribution per unit is ten, so here it will become how much? Nine thousand. Let us see here it is ten, so it will become how much? Ten thousand. Let us say something. Some answer came here fifteen thousand. Now what is gonna be your opportunity cost? Because you selected A, you lost an opportunity. Not for both, either B or C. Because if you don't go for A, then you will go. You have to produce any one of the product. Hello. Then only opportunity cost comes when choice is mutually exclusive. So if you produce A, अगर आप A नहीं बनाते, if you do not produce A, what you would have produced? B or C? C. So your opportunity cost is whichever is higher of these two remaining. So if I talk about this B, so nine thousand and fifteen thousand, whichever is higher, fifteen thousand. Then here if I say so nine and ten, whichever is higher, that is your opportunity cost. Ignore the fixed cost because it is irrelevant. It will not change with your decision. So you won't consider that in your opportunity cost. Is that much is clear here? Done. So sir, we did something with reference to opportunity cost. Now uh, there is one concept known as the limiting factor. So let's have a look. Uh, just a rapid re recap for that matter. Limiting factor.
Acha, what you need to remember with reference to limiting factor, let me give you an idea. Uh, what you will remember with reference to this limiting factor, wala. Uh, there is a total requirement and there is a total, like uh, to study, you have how many days? 10 days with you. The, sorry, 10 days ka requirement you have. 10 days aapko padna hai. But sir, you have only how many days with you? 6. That is available. So can I say requirement is higher? You don't have those days. So will you be able to complete 10 chapters? 10 chapters, 10 days you are located. But no, you cannot do that. You have to select some chapters. So here that is that factor is known as what limiting factor करके so how you gonna do that let me just give you the short idea for डाफ़र देखो इधर से ही समझ जाएगा maybe that will be helpful uh, just give me the contribution uh, for this it is gonna be twenty hello it is gonna be ten and it is gonna be fifty but there is a twist क्या हुआ to earn this fifty twenty rupees you have to spend material is uh, let us say material is limited only fifty thousand kg so every kg of material you should use carefully right so if I put 1 kg here, so 20 rupees iron in how many kgs? 1 kg. So can I say 20 divided by 1? How much is it? 20 rupees is it? So you earn how many rupees? So you earn 10 rupees. But to earn this 10 rupees, how many kgs? You have to put 2 kgs. So you, after putting 2 kgs, you generate 10 rupees. So 10 divided by 2, how much? 5 rupees per kg you generate. You generate 50 rupees again uh, by doing this. How much? 5 kgs. So 10 rupees per kg is it? 50 rupees kamane ke liye you have to use 5 kgs to every kg is generating you kitna 10 rupees right so raw material is limiting factor every kg if you use 1 kg it will give you 20 rupees it will give you 5 rupees it will give you 10 given a choice the ranking bole to pahila kya banayega pahila a banayega then c to a b c mein se you will give ranking like this pehle a you will produce then this and then this clear hai accordingly production will be done uh, just to give you the idea let's say that how many units, uh, how many kgs you have? 50,000. Let me just complete in a rapid way. Samaj me hai na, but achha, you will make like this. Ki mere paas A hai, B hai, C hai. Ranking kitna aya tha aapka? Uh, it was 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 3, 2. Sorry. 1, 3, 2. Then I just say that total quantity, a uh, total raw material which is used is equal to raw material kitna per unit ka use hota hai into quantity. Achha, let me just write down the raw material per unit. Raw material per unit kitna hai aapka 1. 2 and 5. That is raw metal. Every unit requires 1, 2 and 5. Achha, ranking number 1. So first you will produce A ka market demand you will fulfill. So A ka market demand is kitna if you see 15,000. Let us produce 15,000. So kitna consume ho jayega 15,000 into 1. So you understand the 15,000 if I produce it will consume 15,000. And how many kgs I have vessel? Uh, some data was there. Kitna? 50,000 kgs I have. Hello. So 50 mein se to 15 I have utilized for A. Now let's go for the ranking number 2 which gives you higher money. That is C. That's it. What is the market demand? If you check, that is kitna? 5,000. 5,000 into 10. If you do, to Next second. Kya karne ka tha? 5 into 5,000. Sorry. 25,000. Now, what is left? 50,000. I said 25,000 left. 15,000 gaya. What remains is a balancing figure is 10,000. Just produce whatever you can. So, you have to divide by 2. 5,000. And then just multiply with what? Contribution. Per unit, per unit bole to ye 25, uh, ye nahi, sorry, per unit bole to ye 100 minus 120 minus 100 karke jo aya tha. And minus the fixed cost, you gonna get the answer. Now, there is one more difficult question. That question is based on multiple limiting factor. On what basis it is? Multiple limiting factor. This chapter is quite lengthy and it is quite conceptual also. Other chapters are comparatively not that ye. Isme thoda thada time bhi jayega. Because yeah, we need to cover that thing. Okay. And that will be wholesome revision for you. Okay. So now. Uh, 24 if I just talk about there were parts I just discussed roughly for the upper upper se dhyan se answer dena we directly bolta hai thoda sa ye model ka hi question hai uh, how many uh, raw materials you have the first of all if I say kitna kgs hai 13 can you tell me 13,000 kgs mein part A kitna ban sakta hai every kg require every unit of A requires 1.6 kgs so number of units are x into 1.6 kgs karne ke baad ek unit ke liye 1.6 Max kitna you can utilize is 13,000 kg. 13,000 kg minus, so max you can produce is 8125. Once you produce 8125 units, 8125 into 1.6, entire raw metal is utilized. Achha, instead of A, if you go for a B, again what you will do? 13,000 divided by 1.65. Sorry, 1.6 kitna. Achha, here machine hours, how many available you have? 4,000. Again, same thing. Of one unit, uh, number of units are x, every unit requires 0. 0.6 hours, so you will get total hours which shall not exceed 4000. So, 4000.6, that is uh, 666, like in, you should take 6 or 7, 
अरे लॉजिकल इट वॉज एक्सप्लेन इफ यू टेक सेवन यू वी है वाला लोगे तो गलत हो जाएगा Then into point six करोगे, it will exceed forty thousand. Point two something will come. If you take six 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 seven into point six, it will exceed forty thousand. Four thousand, sorry. We, max we have is four thousand. Same thing you will do. Hello, समझ में आता है? Then you will select highest whichever uh, that is. Again you will do four thousand uh, upon point two five. You will get the answer. You will select whichever is lower or whichever is highest. Whichever is lowest. Hello, because if you select eight one two five. Are you have raw metal? I agree, but machine A does it have that much capacity to process those many units? No, right? So if you select lowest, whatever it is, let us say six six six. So I have machine A has the capacity. Do I have that much raw material? Yes, raw material. So I have for eight one two five. So six six I can easily produce. So you have to select whichever is lowest quantity, and then you need to get the contribution and the the job will be done then. Once you get once you get दोनों का quantity ना कितना बन सकता है lowest से That's, that should be multiplied by what contribution per unit, and the product which has highest contribution will be selected. Clear with this? Okay, so that was something which I have explained. Now let's come to the indifference point, guys. Let's come to the indifference point. Okay, so let's come to this. I hope. Chal raha hai, chalne dete ya change karna hai chapter. Samajh raha hai na? Ha. Let's talk about indifference point. Chalo, if I give you some example, maybe you will understand that. अच्छा मैंने तो लेट मी गेट टू द क्रक्स रैदर देन डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल आई कैन से द फिक्स कॉस्ट का डाटा विल बी गिवन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट देयर आर टू व्हीकल दैट विल बी गिवन व्हीकल ए एंड व्हीकल बी फिक्स कॉस्ट डाटा वेरिएबल कॉस्ट डाटा विल बी गिवन लेट अस से इट इज 10000 इट इज 12000 तो फ्रॉम फिक्स कॉस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू व्हिच व्हीकल इज बेटर ए ना बिकॉज़ इट हैज अ लोवेस्ट फिक्स कॉस्ट हेलो बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट तो सर हियर इट इज 50 एंड हियर इट इज 60 तो फ्रॉम वेरिएबल कॉस्ट यहां पे दिस इज बेटर ए इज बेटर But from variable cost point of view, which is better? B. I am confused. What to do? I need some demarcation. Ki is pe ye better is pe. So first of all, change in fixed cost kitna? Two thousand. Change in variable cost fifty minus sixty. That is gonna be kitna? Ten. So formalize change in fixed cost upon change in variable cost. Logic we have already discussed in the class. I am not discussing again. So two thousand upon ten. Kitna aega? Two hundred units or kilometers, whatever it is. At this, both will give you the same cost. Just in case you want to calculate, two hundred into sixty plus ten thousand. Hello, two hundred into sixty plus ten thousand will give you how much cost? Twenty-two. If you go for two hundred units, so fifty ka kharcha for every unit, so fifty into two hundred plus twelve thousand, how much? Twenty-two. समझ में आता है? अच्छा, one more thing. Below indifference point. Below indifference point, which option is better? Option with Lower fixed cost, it is like zero kilometer assume. So zero kilometer pe zero kilometer pe what is better? Jiska kya hota hai? Aapka fixed cost kam hota hai. Acha above indifference point, what which option is better? Jiska variable cost is lowest per unit pe. Clear hai ekda? Acha now there will be one question. There A point will be there, B point will be there, C point will be there. Now what should be the process? There is one question they may ask. You may never know when, but they can ask that question. Ye clear hai ekna? A है, B है, C. How many indifference points will calculate AB, AC and let us say BC. समझता है? अच्छा, let us say this answer is hundred. This answer is आह आह ऐसा चलो अगर मैं ऐसा निकाल दूँ, just two cases, just two cases तुमने ऐसा बोला ना कि पहले BC you need to calculate then AC. So let us say this answer. I will just give you that answer only which is there in the module. Let us say this is three hundred and let us say this is five fifty and this is कितना? 800. So you need to make the timeline. You will put first 300, 300 के बाद पहले क्या put करने का? 550 and then 800. So 300 is this indifference point A and B. Then 550 is let us say indifference point of this AC and this is BC. So it is confirmed. इसके पहले lower fixed cost वाला option you will get. Let us say that is A. Higher uh, sorry lower variable cost वाला option you will get above वाले में which is C. So logic was explained, but in between then what remains will be in the B. Logic was explained in detail. So, आपका टाइमलाइन बन जाएगा कि एक तो लेस देन 300, देन एट 300 बोथ ऑप्शंस आर बेटर कौन सा ए एंड बी इन दिस एंटायर रेंज दैट इज 300 से ग्रेटर देन 300 से लेके लेस देन 800 ए ए बी एंड देन बी विल बी बेटर एंड देन ग्रेटर देन 800 पे व्हाट विल बी सॉरी एट 800 पे व्हाट विल बी बेटर ए बी सी एट एट हंड्रेड एंड अबाउट दैट वॉट विल बी बेटर सी ऐसा याद आता है Okay, so that was the thing which we did with reference to the reference point. Yeah.
there is a mathematical question also you have to just have a look वो वो अच्छा इसमें एक shortcut idea दे दूँ तो there is one question question number twenty seven what you need to pay attention to is simple है uh, you will have three equations first of all uh, it is like this f one plus f two is equal to one lakh fifty thousand आपको इसका वैल्यू सी के टर्म्स में निकालना है इसका वैल्यू सी के टर्म्स में निकालना है सो so, इसमें क्या करने का दे हैव गिवन वाज आंसर बी पी इज इक्वल टू एफ वन प्लस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट इट इज अज्यूम्ड एज सी एंड बी पी विल बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट से वन थाउजेंड तो एफ वन विल भी कितना वन थाउजेंड सी हेलो एंड वन सुट दिस इज एज वन थाउजेंड सी देर विल भी वन मोर इक्वेशन नोन एज इन डिफरेंस पॉइंट का उसमें यह वैल्यू को सब्सिट्यूट कर देने का यू हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट एफ वन इज वन थाउजेंड सी यू विल गेट एफ टू इन सी वन सुट एफ टू इन सी देन अप If this is 1000 C, this is 2000 C. So C common is so 3000 C is equal to 1 lakh 50,000. So you can get C ka value. Thoda thoda yaad aata. So I am just giving a rapid recap. I am not solving entire question. Okay. So something was that. Now, so I can say that now there are questions based on graph we did. Graph ke liye I can just tell you one thing that if I just talk about graph wala part, guys. Graph wale part me dekho kuch aisa hai. Uh, chances are very less, but just in case if you want to listen to, you gonna make this graph. यहाँ पे आपके व्हाट विल कम यूनिट्स यहाँ पे व्हाट विल कम इज रुपी हाईएस्ट वन पॉइंट यू विल सेलेक्ट यू विल से एट दिस व्हाट इज योर सेल सेल्स लाइन विल गो लाइक दिस यू विल सेलेक्ट वन पॉइंट एंड देन यू विल हैव दैट पॉइंट ऑफ हियर अच्छा देन यू विल सी व्हाट इज योर फिक्स कॉस्ट बिकॉज इर रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ यूनिट्स इट विल बी पेड इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स वॉट विल यू पे फिक्स कॉस्ट तो लेट एस इट इज टेन थाउजेंड करके राइट सो योर टोटल कॉस्ट का विल बी लाइक दिस हेलो इट विल नॉट एंड टू जीरो इट विल एंड एट फिक्स कॉस्ट Then the point where it intersects, it is your BEP in units, and here it is BEP in rupee. Clear with this? This is your sales line. This is your cost line. So this is your which area profit area, and this is your which area loss. Very difference point. Okay, one more thing. One more cost will be given. That is variable cost. याद है क्या? तो ये आपका sales line है. Hello. So this is your sales line, and this is your variable cost. So ये बीच का part क्या रहेगा? Your contribution. Okay, that is what it was explained. So it is all about graph. Okay, after doing uh, after doing that a graph, we just talk about uh, yeah, we did a limiting factor, we did a opportunity cost, we did a sales mix. Then there is a shutdown point. What I generally remember is first two requirements are quite easy. For shutdown point, you guys have to remember only one thing. I don't remember the formula. What I just remember is, if one business ko chalu rakhega, so what is your cost? If you shut down your business, what is your cost? Uska difference. Divide by either PV ratio or contribution per unit. If the answer shutdown point in rupees they are asking for, so divide by PV ratio. Shutdown point in units, so divide by contribution. Say it. Chalu wale ko kya bolte wale? My total fixed cost. Hello. And if you close the bit, still you have to incur that cost. It is unavoidable fixed cost minus unavoidable fixed cost. So formula is total fixed cost minus unavoidable fixed cost divided by either PV ratio or contribution. Hello. Uh, I think for this, I devoted too much time while explaining for uh, shutdown point, gym trainer, and all that stuff. Karke, but you remember this part. Chalu ban divided by PV ratio or contribution per unit. Okay. So now that's it. So we gonna done with this. The last point for this is guys, mar merger, merger of plants. I can just say one thing: you cannot merge. This question is not in module. It was asked maybe three four years back in 2018 or somewhere. But yeah. You just need to remember one thing. This is at 100 percent. This is at 70. You cannot merge. The answer will not give you anything logical. If you add this and this, no logic for that. But if you bring it to the same capacity, if you add, so the answer is it is 100 percent. Pay what merge capacity there? It is like if you convert to how much? 100 percent. How will you do this? Divide by 70 percent. Divide by 70 percent. Sales cost and variable cost. For right? Don't do this for. Fixed cost because sir, whether you work at 80 or whether you work at 100, your fixed cost will remain same. This mistake you can do, please. Don't do that. Changes wala part ki usko apka fixed cost ko nahi karne ka. Sales mein aur once you get the answer na, it is like dekho, one class mein 100 bache baithte hain 100% capacity mein. Second class mein 60% pe 60 students sit. If you are 160, no logic. But if you convert it to 100, then if you are 200 students, then we can say merge class will have 200 ka capacity. That is why while combining the plants, it should be at the same capacity, preferably consa hundred. Then the rest is quite easy. Then you will get total plant ka sales value, total plant ka variable cost, total plant ka contribution, contribution upon sales in two hundred. You will get plant ka PV ratio. Then rest you can calculate. एक दम अच्छे से clear है. अच्छा. Ah, uh, so that's it. अच्छा. One one last point. Now maybe other those who did not learn from me maybe they won't understand. But a shortcut है. 
selling price minus variable cost contribution. There is a quantity and there is a proper unit curriculum. As I said, you can go in detail, but shortcut was like this. If your quantity increases, your total sales value will also increase and your total variable cost also will increase. Total, as you will produce more, na, you will sell more, so sales will increase, but you will have to produce more, so variable cost also will increase in totality. Where you are incurring for 100, now you will incur for 110. But if it is written, selling price will reduce, uh, quantity is given effect in both, sales also, variable cost also. Selling price will increase by, uh, reduce by 10%, so reduce only selling price. Reduction in variable cost by 20% so reduce only variable cost. Hello, but quantity to dono mein dene ka. And fixed cost hai to total mein effect dene ka increase decrease ka. Yeah, iska bhi aapka total mein hi aega because aap yahan pe dhe raho. Jopi total values raega you will say plus and minus. Hello, plus 10%. Don't do this net off karke you have to do individually. Plus 10% minus 20%. Or yaha to pehle minus 20% and then plus 10%. That's it. This was all about, we can say that is the best revision which is there of, for that matter of marginal costing even though it took time. But the difficult chapter and chances are more so once you watch any time while revising, aapka bahut zyada time kam ho jayega to this. Whether I should revise this or not, I don't know. Chalo, absorption wala part, uh, chalo, ek bar mein revise kar leta Let's take the risk for that matter, uh, absorption versus marginal wala part. Uh, let's do that, chalo, kari leta hai. Uh, where it is, where it is, here, kidder gaya, absorption versus marginal. May I just, I am just discussing uh, one basic thing, please try to listen to this, if you understand that is well and good, one is absorption and one is konsa apka, marginal. Achha, generally the statement is like this, sales minus cost, COS, you get profit, it is sales minus variable cost, uh, contribution minus uh, fixed cost, you get profit. Do you understand this? For that matter, what you gonna make is working note, cost of sales ke liye. You will make working out where your variable cost will be there, your fixed cost will be there, production cost both are. Achha, it will be which amount? Absorbed amount. How to absorb that we have seen. Achha, uske pehle always make one working note. What? Quantity sold, then closing stock, then opening stock and quantity produced. So you will get that entire data. If something is missing, that will be balancing figure. If nothing is given in the question, it is given 100, it is given 200. Tell me and nothing is given. So how many units are there? 300. Nothing is given. Opening stock will be nil. Quantity produced nil nahi rahega. So if nothing is given, what will be nil? Your opening stock. So you have produced 300 karke. Now, then what you do is like this first of all. Now you will be understanding this. Budgeted overheads divided by budgeted units. You will get one absorption rate. That as and when I produce one unit, I will recover and I will record this amount. Hello. Then this absorption rate is multiplied by what? Uh, this absorption rate is multiplied by actual units. Actually you have produced how many units? Please understand one more thing, the data will be given in the question for one year and they will say one quarter is ended. So you need to make everything only for one quarter because one quarter is ended so everything is made only for one quarter. Hello. So a group, uh, for every unit I am going to recover 10 rupees. Let us say I have actually sold 1000. I have actually sold let us say 1000 units so I must have recovered kitna. Huh. So I can say that uh, 10,000 into 10 I must have uh, recorded this amount. Isko konsa overhead bolte hai? Absorbed overhead. I recovered 10 rupees, I recovered 10 rupees. So 1000 ki pitch, I recovered 10,000. Now your actual overhead, this is what actual units are, hello. Actual units are 1000. This is which quantity? Quantity produced. You produce this. Now actual kharcha kitna hai fixed overhead ka? Let us say it is a 12,000. So this is known as under absorption or over absorption? Under, because absorption wala amount is less. We have to always take absorption wala amount. Suppose this is this, 8,000. So actually you paid 8,000 but absorbed amount is kitna? 10. So absorbed is higher. So 2,000 will be known as? While making cost sheet, you will write which amount always over here? Absorb. Then you will get what? Cost of production. Add opening stock of finished goods, less closing stock of finished goods. Finished goods ka valuation will be done at what cost? Variable plus fixed both. Achha, see closing stock, how to calculate? I hope you know. Let's suppose this is 10,000 is your cost and you have produced 100 units. So you get first one unit ka cost. Into how many units are there in closing stock? This is a part of cost sheet. Hello. Thoda, thoda. You're going to get what? CO, GS. Then add selling and distribution. But, 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 but. Before that, because you have followed absorption costing. And generic uh, ICI does that. So we, we do writing of in this year itself. So whatever. If it is over absorption, let us say. If it is 200 over absorption, what will you do? Add or less? 
ओवर ऑब्जॉर्प्शन मतलब वी हैव रिटर्न एक सेकंड ओवर ऑब्जॉर्प्शन मतलब देखो एक्चुअल अमाउंट इज 8000 वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड 10 ऑब्जॉर्ब्ड वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड 10 तो यू हैव टू सबट्रैक्ट टू ओवर ऑब्जॉर्ब्ड वी हैव रिटर्न मोर तो टू ब्रिंग इट टू द लेवल यू हैव टू सबट्रैक्ट इट देन इट विल बिकम 8 वी हैव रिटर्न 10 बाबा इधर ये बट एक्चुअल खर्चा 8 है तो 2000 कम करेगा तो 8 पे आएगा ओवर है तो लेवल पे लाने के लिए नीड टू सबट्रैक्ट अंडर है तो लेवल पे लाने के लिए यू हैव टू ऐड रिमेंबर ओके okay. यहां पे अगेन यू विल मेक वेरिएबल का कॉस्ट शीट बट लेकिन यहां पे हाउ यू विल मेक द कॉस्ट शीट दैट इज गना बी अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट देन डायरेक्टली व्हाट विल कम इज ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स तो थोड़ा याद आता है देन यू गेट सीओपी सॉरी देन यू गेट व्हाट सीओजीएस दिस वाज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इट मींस कैन आई से वन थिंग इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इन मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग योर स्टॉक्स आर वैल्यूड एट व्हिच कॉस्ट वेरिएबल and in absorption costing your stocks are valued at total cost variable plus fix because there will be one question where opening stock or data will not be given so theek hai ya to stock ka valuation clear hai kya acha then ye fixed cost hai that will be written as it is waisa hai no change directly you will copy i can simply say whatever statement you make for absorption costing same statement you will make for marginal except for one thing Fixed cost effect you will remove and entire fixed cost actually will show over here. Clear? Eh? There is one more thing. Logic was explained. Ah, uh, you will start with absorption ka profit, add change in opening stock, less change in closing stock. You will get marginal ka profit. Logic was explained. But just remember and scale liye. Yaad hai isa? Absorption ka profit plus change in opening stock minus change in closing stock. You will get marginal ka. Logic was explained. If you want, I can explain now, but it will be then. Itna theek hai. Finally, we are uh, done with marginal costing. Uh, one of the lengthiest chapter. Uh, we did the revision. Yeah, we are done with this.